Hello and welcome to another episode of Sunderland's Resurgence, the series where we're trying to get Sunderland as far back up the table as possible, try and get them back to the club they once were. We've started pretty well in the Premier League when you look at the teams around us there. We are five points from safety already as we enter the 1st of November. We're actually playing Friday Night Football for the first time, I think, ever. Um, I could be wrong, but I think it's the first time we've ever played it. Um, especially with it being a new thing in the Premier League. We've, we've got Newcastle. So yeah, it's a slightly big, it's a massive game. It's the biggest game of the season, the biggest episode of the season. Never mind on a couple more. This is the biggest game at home to Newcastle. And uh, you can see where the results have been. We've, we've had two wins, we've had three losses, and we've had four draws. Uh, we've been hard to beat. The only teams that have beaten us, Man United, Huddersfield and Burnley. Um, Man United obviously at the start, but Huddersfield, if you didn't see Huddersfield last episode, then you know you should be looking at it. It was very unlucky. We were dominant and we got lost on an offside goal. And then we've lost to Arsenal as well, which I've failed to point out. Uh, that was a 2-0 defeat. And we also lost to Burnley, which uh, was probably our worst defeat, to be honest. Uh, we didn't play great. Uh, I thought we deserved probably a draw from it, but uh, when a game's that tight, it can go either way. We did pick up one victory uh, since the game against Crystal Palace, and that was against Leicester. We did win uh, it was a quick turnaround, actually. Two quick goals, Jordan Hugel and Matthias Jorgensen scored. But we're playing Newcastle now, a team who are in a very similar position to us. If we quickly look at their schedule, you can see there that they, they've actually had quite a few more defeats than us. But what they have had is more victories, so it's been on and off really for them. They've, uh, they themselves have actually won against a big team. We won against Chelsea, remember, and we drew us against Spurs. These have played Liverpool and drew, and they've also beaten Manchester City. Manchester City not being too great. You can see here that they, uh, where are they? They're actually, they've revived a bit actually now, to be fair to them. But, um, aye, it's, it's today, it's a massive game, and here's the lineup. A few things to note before the game against Newcastle. Joe Shaw has actually managed to win Young Player of the Month. Uh, as well as that, we've got um, Benitez. He claimed that we are doomed, apparently, this season. Um, this is, he says, I'm afraid to say it looks rather bleak for them and their family. So We'll see, we'll see. He's obviously taught them uh, a lot of dross. I didn't respond to that. I didn't even receive a question from the media about Rafa Benitez. Right, so this is that lineup to play Newcastle at the Stadium of Lights. No doubt it'll be a full house for a game this big. We've got Schwallow and goal. We've got Keita, Jorgensen, Wilson and Holgate as a back four. Embleton is partnering Dong in the centre. I have tried Rodwell there before, but um, it's just not happened. Uh, I'm not sure if Embleton got suspended or what. Or he might have got injured because he didn't play for a while. And I'm not, I can't quite remember why. Um, but yeah, he partnered in Dong. I want to have, you know, a general Matlam in there We're from the under 23s just because it's a local derby. We've got Kazri here on the left, Gasoro on the right, and then we've got a front two of Hugel and Vaughan looking to cause trouble to the Newcastle back line. So this is Newcastle's lineup. It's slightly different to what it is in real life, but they've actually managed to keep quite a few players. But they've changed their goalkeeper. They've in fact got uh, Gaston Gomez. You can't quite see that, but Gaston Gomez in goal for them. Um, and it's very similar to what they've got. They've got a different Gutierrez though. He's now got Felipe Gutierrez. Um, a new striker as well. He's this Roger Martinez. We're going to keep an eye out for these. But um, you know our team. And uh, it's, it's going to be an interesting game. I'm not looking forward to it at all. I'm going to say go out there and give the fans their money's worth. It is a game for the fans. And that is what makes this game. The fact that both sets of supporters are really passionate about the football. And uh, it's the main focus of both the cities, I'd say. Right, so kick off at the Stadium of Light. It's James Vaughan to start us off, and it's going to be a very interesting game indeed. Already a couple of fouls in there in the first three minutes. This is certainly going to be interesting to see how both sets of fans handled this, both sets of players handled this, and of course the two managers on the touchline. Uh, Vaughan has also picked up a yellow card. It's a set piece for Newcastle. Miguel Moreno is uh, on the ball. I'm always scared when I see a yellow card player going for a tackle like that, but I saw has lost it up the pitch as uh, Vaughan gave it back to him. You need to be careful here as uh, it's been headed on and it's kind of took Kate throughout the game, but he has managed to get back into place. It might have been Holgate actually. There's a couple of shots going in. It's Gutierrez. He looks to whip it across. It's out to at the far post, hits the bar, and we're able to clear. That's a warning sign, lads. And uh, half time, it looks like it's going to be 0 0. Wilson's got a free kick. It's deflected. Hugel 
a third time of asking it saved again. That's the best chance of the match, surely. And uh, just before half time would have been the ideal time to score. It's um, in the last couple of derbies we've scored on the verge of half time. And um, it's just unfortunate that we can't do so there. It would have been a great time to score. They haven't had a shot on target still. Although they have hit the bar the second half. And um, <laughs> tensions are only going to rise as there hasn't been a goal yet in this game. The next one may be decisive. Well, he can't go within a corner. It's Wilson unmarked. He's hit the bar and he's put it in on the rebound. And Mark Wilson is the scorer of the goal. He did take the deflected free kick in the beginning of the first half. And this time, look at that full stadium. Oh, I wish my memories like that again. And uh, Wilson just got it on the rebound. The keeper hasn't had enough time to react after it hit the post. And uh, possibly making some changes now, I reckon. Both strikers are on yellow cards. What's happening here then? Right, there's another highlight going on. Embleton's got the ball. We've got it with Holgate now. Joel Soro. Joel Soro's just going to keep going forward. He's going to whip across in. James Vaughan heads it on the Hugo. And it's into the hands of Gomez. Right, he has been playing well, but I'm scared for Embleton. We've received too many yellow cards for us to be happy with this. So we're going to put McNair on. And uh, we are going to also put a bit of pace on the pitch. We're going to get Duncan Watmore in there as well. Have him on a bit of a support role. We've got both on these support roles, I think. So, yeah. Joel Soros joining James Vaughan up front. I just don't want anyone sent off in these latter stages. Just keep the ball. That's all I'm asking. Keep the ball. Vaughan or Holgate. That was unbelievably close to being intercepted. We need to be careful with the fullbacks this high. It's gone forward. Aftu's picked it up. But um, Dong's won it back. He's put it into the box. Vaughan's headed it back. McNair's got on the end of it. That's what I want to see. I want to see us winning all the second balls. We all want us to keep in possession. Go straight in the opposition. Well, we've managed to pass it around pretty well. McNair's giving it forward to Vaughan. He's shot! And that's the end of the game. Surely, James Vaughan. Thank goodness, me heart. Me heart. And uh, this is some occasion. Back in the Premier League, James Vaughan just smashes it into that bottom corner. I'm delighted with the way we played there. Is that the assist from Paddy McNair? He just took a touch. And the power behind that was extraordinary. Fantastic, fantastic, well done lads, throw in's taken, it's played around the edge of our box, Lazar's going to put a cross in, Schwallow parries it, Moy shoots, and that is that, I do believe, calm, yes, what a victory, Mark Wilson and James Vaughan write their names in the time we have folklore as they both get a goal in this crucial game, I'm very happy with the result and the way they've played, I'm just going to try and make them as happy as possible. A win like this is going to boost morale. It's worth noting that Newcastle still haven't beaten us since 2011. And that is that. Um, bloody hell, what a game. Mark Wilson scoring on his 100th appearance for Sunderland. And then obviously James Vaughan capping it off near the end there. A lot of bookings, but that's what you'd expect in a game like this. A very open game. And I'm sure it'll be a very entertaining one as well. Next time we meet, probably... Liverpool, maybe Liverpool away, um, maybe both, maybe maybe Merseyside special, Liverpool and Everton, and then it's Man City as well, there's three tough games after a run of games where it's not really that interesting, so we'll have to see, uh, let us know which one you prefer to see out of these three, and then I'll probably uh, sort that out, but uh, aye, what a victory today, that's our third victory in the Premier League, and it takes us up to 12th, with like a lot of teams having games in hand, we obviously played in the Friday night. But uh, put some distance between us and Newcastle, we're now above them in the table. And uh, we're just going to see how the teams around us fare. But uh, that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this one, I certainly have. Uh, I'm just calming down now. But yeah, what an episode. We mustn't let our heads drop. Um, we'll get complacent, shall I say. But aye, what a game, what an episode. I'd like to thank you all once again for watching. And I'll see you later.